Chimpaven was really created out of need. The board of directors of Chimpaven recognized long ago that there was a tremendous need for an appropriate, humane environment for chimpanzees to retire to, especially chimpanzees who had been used in biomedical research. It's a place where chimpanzees can come and um, leave the restricted environment that most of them had been in in captivity and live in a very expansive, um, socially stimulating environment that they really do have freedom of choice. This really is the only place in the country that provides naturally forested habitats that are four or five acres large where the chimpanzees can display the types of behaviors that wild chimpanzees display. That is just amazing and it's worked uh, very, very well for the chimpanzees here. The chimpanzees are definitely number one here. That is one of the first things that we teach any of our new employees is that the chimpanzees are to be treated with respect and to be treated as individuals. Chimphaven was designed in order to give the chimpanzees dignity in their later years and also dignity for the rest of their lives. This is one of the chimpanzees' nests. One of the things that we didn't know the chimpanzees would do or not um, is make nests. And the wild chimpanzees make nests up in the trees. But here the trees are a little bit smaller, as you see around you, to hold a 200 pound chimp. Uh, so they're making them on the ground. We've actually found over 150 chimpanzee nests on the ground out in these habitats. One of the things that I love about being um, on the staff here at Chimphaven is that every department works closely with one another. We meet um, within our behavioral um, management team. We meet within our veterinary team. We meet within our animal care um, team. And we devise plans for the best option for each and every chimpanzee. It takes a group effort to make sure that we can provide the best life for the chimpanzees here. Our goal here is to make sure that we're providing more to the chimpanzees than just the basics. They can receive good nutrition and good medical care in other places, but here we look at the chimps to improve their well-being overall. We look at the chimps from a holistic perspective and we try to create opportunities for them to live like a chimp in the wild. This is so important to their well-being. Some of the individuals that come here have been in biomedical research for four or five decades. So it does take a little bit of time for the chimpanzees to learn that this is a great place and that they have a lot of freedoms here, but it doesn't take too long. And, and very shortly after the chimps uh, um, become acclimated to this environment, they become um, actually demanding and decide what they want to do, when they want to do it, and we're here to serve them and we accommodate all of their needs. The other area that's uh, pretty unique for Chimphaven as a sanctuary is that we are very invested in education. It's critical that the general public understands the importance of chimpanzees, both their care and concern about them in a captive environment like we find in the United States, but also conservation of them in the wild because they are an endangered species. Our education program at Chimphaven is very diverse and we have a lot of activities going on on a daily basis. And and not only do the visitors, whether they're students or interns or the general public, learn a lot about chimpanzees and chimphaven, the chimpanzees get a lot out of it too. They really seem to respond well to public visitors on a limited basis where they can um, interact with people. When Paul arrived, he had been with another chimp, a male chimp, for a number of years, I think maybe 10 years or more. Well, unfortunately, his partner passed away about two weeks prior. They were both supposed to come together, and they didn't. 
So Paul got here and Paul was actually very depressed. And a chimpanzee that's depressed looks like a person that's depressed. They'll sit in the corner, they won't eat, they won't interact with people or with other chimpanzees. And he was by himself and lonely. Um, in that situation, the best thing is another chimpanzee for, for a chimpanzee. And we introduced him to John. And that was probably one of my favorite introductions because the difference in Paul within 15 minutes time was amazing. Paul and John began to play. A lot of people don't know that chimpanzees laugh. They were laughing, they were chasing each other um, around in, in the area where we did the introduction. And I think any of the staff members that were here at that time were quite amazed at the difference in Paul in just a short period of time. As the use of chimpanzees in research decreases, the need for an appropriate, humane environment, just like Chimphaven, is going to dramatically increase. And we are going to be able to provide potentially hundreds more chimpanzees with the type of retirement home that they truly deserve. These chimps have served humans for so many years and unwillingly at that. Now it's our opportunity to give back to them. We are providing an incredible environment for these chimpanzees. We are taking responsibility for them for the rest of their lives and giving them back something that was taken from them. At the same time, we're doing it at a fraction of the cost of what the laboratories are spending today. So not only is it a great idea and um, ethically responsible solution, a uh, wonderful thing for the chimpanzees, but it also makes fiscal sense. I mean, we actually are all saving money by moving the chimpanzees into this wonderful home.